The idea started before two and a half years ago when we saw some problems in our military industries and also the situation in Bosnia where we have a lot of mines, land mines, and this is the huge problem. Uh, so we wanted to, to solve this problem by get, building a robot that will, uh, instead of human, go to explore dangerous areas and bring out explosives to safe areas where it could be detonated. Our graduation project was about developing uh, a working prototype of an EOD robot. EOD basically stands for Explosive Ordnance Disposal and EOD robots are remotely controlled vehicles that uh, serve the purposes of mine disposal, bomb disposal and many other applications. Well, this project is a proof to ourselves actually that we can when we want to, we can build something from, from scratch, something functional. We are, of course, proud of ourselves. We invested a lot of time, a lot of, a lot of knowledge. Also, we learned uh, along the way. Uh, and also for military industry, we have a problem in, in our domestic military industry and in defense industry, like when, when some company tested explosives, they tested by if they tested in the field and if that explosive didn't explode, actually the human operator takes it out from the ground and disassembles it. So this is the risk that we, we, we saw and we wanted to change this. And also we had situations, we had opportunities to work with different uh, military companies here and outside of Bosnia to attend different, different conferences and, uh, to, to explore what are the needs. And so this is, this is why we choose this project. IOS stepped in with the help of uh, Tark Namas, our professor and mentor, and they give us opportunity to use the RDC center and to build the robot. We actually use materials, we cover material expenses from ourselves, from our budgets, and IOS gave us the help and assistance that we needed, so this, and we, we did it, we succeeded to build this first prototype of ECHO 51. Basically, we plan to take it to a higher level, but we wouldn't like to, to reveal too much. But the moral of the story is like, like to never give up, basically. So when you see back the whole journey that we went through, you see many failures and then one success. So this is the life, this is the everything that's going through. My advice to the current IUS students or future IUS students or any student anywhere would be to, to, to seize every opportunity that this university has to offer. Mm -hmm.